Well, the Maumee River is celebrated for its walleye fishing, but decades ago it was known for something else, something much, much, much bigger. After being uh, torn apart by overfishing, the sturgeon is set to be brought back home, a story we've been following for years, and our Ben Cathy shows us the final step now. Lee and Diane, tens of thousands of lake sturgeon used to call the Maumee River home, and now that number is zero. But for the first time in more than a century, the lake sturgeon is staging a comeback. With a little bit of help, the sturgeon back in the Maumee. This part of the Great Lakes supported millions of sturgeon. Millions, millions. Getting the prehistoric sturgeon back home has been in the works for at least 15 years. The fish themselves have been around for 150 million years. Well before T-Rex. Jim Bowes runs the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service office out of Detroit. This Saturday, he and Dr. Jessica Collier coming together to release 3,000 small sturgeon right here. And you're invited. It's absolutely emotional for me. I am so excited um, that this is happening. It was just a, an an amazing opportunity to be a part of this team. The University of Toledo, the Toledo Zoo, Fish and Wildlife, and the Canadian government, just a few of those involved in bringing back the fish that lives longer than people. In Ohio, lake sturgeon are a state endangered fish, so they're protected. I like to refer to sturgeon as the bald eagle of the Great Lakes. The goal, to get kids involved and then their kids. We're doing this for our future generations. But Bose knows others might take more convincing. Why are you doing this here? There's so many other problems with the Maumee River. There's another benefit besides getting kids back into nature and back into science. These lake sturgeon help to clean up Lake Erie by eating the invasive tiger and quagga mussels. At Walbridge Park, I'm Ben Cathy, 13 ABC Action News. All right, and if you want to attend the free event Saturday, it runs from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Your kids will be able to hold the palm-sized fish, which could one day be 10 feet long.